In this video, we're going to take a look at the addition of mixed numbers that have common denominators. We're going to jump right into an example like we've been doing. And it says add, write your answer in lowest terms. No different than usual. What you'll notice is the question is a little bit different. We have 1 and 1 third plus 2 and 1 third. So in this case, the first thing that we want to do is break things apart. So this is the exact same thing as saying... 1 plus 1 third plus 2 plus 1 third. What I want you to do here is organize your addition statement um, in the following way. We want to put our integers together, our whole number. So I want to go 1 plus 2, then I'm going to go plus 1 third plus 1 third. I know that 1 plus 2 is 3, and I can put that right there. That leaves me with my fractions hanging out at the back. I got one third plus one third. I know from previous examples, if I just kind of zoom in on just this part right here that I've circled or squared in yellow, we can start to put that together. Now the three tags along with us, I have three plus one plus one over three. So it's starting to look complicated, but make sure we're zoning in on just the fraction part here. And I know here that I can go 3 plus, I know 2, or 1 plus 1 is 2. I get 2 over 3. So my answer is 3 plus 2 thirds. But I know from my knowledge of mixed numbers that I can just write this as 3 and 2 thirds like so. I always need to make sure that this is in the lowest terms, the fraction part especially. And in this case, we're already in the fraction part. So we're in good shape. Let's try another example here. Um... My example two here is three and one six plus two and four sixths. So just like the last question, I'm going to start out by organizing my addition statement with the whole numbers first. So I'm going to show three plus two. So I've taken care of the three here and the two here. I'm going to do a plus one over six plus four over six. Now I can combine 3 and 2 because I know that those added together give me a 5. I can also line up my 1 plus my 1 over 6 plus my 4 over 6. I know on my next line my 5 is going to take along with us. And my 1 plus 4 goes on top of the denominator 6. And I know that 5 comes along again and 1 plus 4 also gives me a 5. I have 5 over 6. So my answer is 5 plus 5 over 6. Now, I need to write this into a mixed number format. So I'm going to write this as 5 and 5 sixths. I want to double check that my fraction is in those terms. And in this case, the 5 over 6 is in those terms because there's no other common factors besides 1 between 5 and 6. Let's quickly review the steps. So following follow the follow the following steps to add two mixed numbers with a common denominator together. So first things first, you're going to rewrite your addition statement with the whole numbers together. You're going to add those whole numbers together. And third, you're going to with the fractions, you're going to write both numerators as an addition statement above the original denominator. Number four, you're going to complete the addition statement in the numerator. Five, you're always going to make sure your answer is put into lowest terms and make sure you put it into proper mixed number format if that is what the question needs you to do.